Time now for our Stan's Garden Center segment. You're joined by Josh Krasinski, and Josh, looks like you, you brought some friends with you. Uh, we had some hydrangeas here. We had, um, sometimes in August, it's the time of year when the garden uh, interest kind of declines. Spring is a very big pu push for your vegetables, your annuals, your herbs, and August seems to be kind of a slower month before that fall time uh, kicks in. Our weather has been phenomenal this year for continuing to plant, so we decided to have Hydrangea Fest, which we brought in over a thousand pots just for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, put them all 25% off, and we have here three selections of the Macrophylla, or the big leaf style hydrangeas that are really new trending interests in uh, this field. There was uh, a really big interest and a lot of um, uh, notoriety around the re-blooming hydrangeas. These all three are re-blooming. They like the sun only in the early and late day. They don't like midday sun. They don't like heavy, wet soils. So they want that casual kind of by the porch, maybe on the edge of the tree line, something area. But the real um, attraction to these kind of hydrangeas is the new colors. The industry really is tripping over themselves, trying to come up with the latest and greatest new ones. We finally got in some of the brand new award winning already just in the last month. Uh, cherry go round here holds a very, very maraschino cherry kind of color. And all three of these plants, no more than 36 inches tall, sometimes on uh, even just a 24 inch um, um, frame. The, the uh, cherry go round has very, very rigid stems, which is a problem in the older type of macrophylla. Uh, one good heavy storm and they kind of open up. You got frill ride, which is really another pink that has a very, um, uh, lacy edge to it. Very, very large blooms that in you in some age will cover the entire 24 to 30 inch uh, frame. And then you have pop star here, really unique. Uh, there was this kind of opening bloom starting earlier in the career of reblooming hydrangeas, but this one here covers itself in that really aggressive uh, pink uh, cap kind of look to it. Josh, I know you kind of talked about, what's the best time to kind of plant these plants? So being container grown, all the roots to these plants are nice and compact in there. You want to just kind of tickle that outside root area, put them into some really good, dark, rich, organic matter, and you can plant them all season long. You have either zone four or zone five, so they're tolerant of our climate here. But being that we've had that really good weather that still has moisture and kind of some cool evenings now, it has not been that arid scorcher that the West is getting. You can continue to plant container grown nursery stock right through fall time. Very nice. What's the upkeep like? I know you were kind of touching on that, but yeah. So the only thing you got to watch for is if you put them in too much sun, they'll get a little sunburn, a little stress on the leaves. The ideal way to water newly planted or um, you know not quite rooted in plant material is to water deep and thorough and slow, as infrequent as you need to keep stress away. That gets them roots to coach out into that new soil, so they're established, good and hardy for the winter. Maybe just one last one, Hydrangea Fest, that continuing today as well? Through 4 o'clock today, 11 to 4, at both locations at stands. Very nice. Josh, thanks a lot for joining us. Really appreciate it. Definitely go check those flowers out. Thank you.